Hey guys, so this video will be titled How Sports Card Investing, Listening to Influencers Like Sports Card Investor, Mr. Wilson, Jeff Wilson, uh, kind of lost me a lot of money. Now, I've titled it Destroyed My Life. It's a little exaggeration, of course. You know, you gotta throw out some numbers out there. That's how you get clickbait. Let me go ahead and just explain. Um, during Nationals, the hottest player was a guy by the name of Trey Lance. He was on the 49ers, and everyone in Nationals said bye. You can go back and watch the vlogs. He was a very hot entity. Um, and he was a second year player. They thought this was going to be the year for him, and he got injured. And then Jimmy G came along, and he got injured. And then there was a dude called Brock Purdy. And this is a dude. He was the last pick in the draft, uh, Mr. Irrelevant. And now he is starting and winning. Now, again, I'm making this video, so he's in the playoffs right now. But wow, uh, a QB who was basically one pick from not being drafted. And let's say he's undrafted, would he still be at the 49ers? I don't know. I mean, maybe another team picks him up. But he landed in the right place. Now, Trey Lance cards are basically worthless um, because they have a QB who is slightly younger than Trey Lance, a better fit. Trey Lance is a dude who proved nothing. He injured himself. I, yes, it was raining. It was against Justin Fields, who the Bears are the worst team. They out tanked my houston texans so there you go i mean it wasn't even like a good team it turned out it turned out it was a very bad team the worst team in the nfl because now they have the number one pick that my dumbass houston texans could not uh secure because they had to they just had to win the game against the colts uh the one game i wanted to win was against deshaun watson when he came back with the browns and of course we lost that game even though he was not very good, the son was not very good. Of course, we lose that game only to fight and win against the Colts in the most awkward way possible. Um, fourth down and we threw, I mean, two point conversion. Lovey Smith effed us. Uh, you know, oh, once a bear, always a bear. So that's neither here nor there. My point is the investment advice you got on Trey Lance that I got on Trey Lance was absolutely fraudulent. And many people in the comment section will say, oh, well, it's your own fault for taking the advice. Just like how they say to FTX victims and, you know, other victims of crimes. Yeah, you know, it's always their victim's fault. It's called victim blaming. Look, man, it was hype. National were hype. People were buying, people were buying, people were buying. Um, we didn't realize the economy would basically be on the edge of collapse. We are massively in debt due to PPP loans, stimulus money. You know, I mean, $31.4 trillion is not a laughing matter. And, you know, every year we have to raise the debt ceiling. <laughs> you know, it, it's, I, I just find it kind of funny that nobody can control the debt. Like the Democrats, Republicans, nobody. They just continue to spend and spend and push back and push back eventually you know just mathematically there will be a breaking point where other countries are saying nah man the u.s dollar is worthless um and that breaking point unless congress can fix it will be to, uh this week as of the recording of this video so now we have to deal with even more inflation i mean it's very simple there's more money out there and we're producing the same amount of goods and services there's not a drastic increase then the price of everything is higher Look at the price of eggs. The reason eggs are so high is because demand for eggs has increased uh, and it's a good source of cheap protein and the supply has decreased. Boom, that's why eggs are triple as much. So back to the, the whole sports card investing thing and this is a joke. It must be a joke because they said Trey Lance and what I mean, who is they? I mean, I, my, all the influencers. Roth's cards were very high in Trey Lance. I remember watching his videos and he was always talking and hyping him up. Uh, there were much more. I mean, basically the whole sports card collectible market, all the influencers on YouTube, they thought Trey Lance to the moon. 
Turn out he's a bum. It's almost as bad as trading your one, your pop one auto Michael Jordan for James Harden the bum, like Jeff Wilson did. I mean, you look at what they're trading, you look at the, all the money, and you, you look past the, the money, the star Jordan and all these purchases that Jeff and all their his friends are buying Mojo. I mean, these, these are awful, awful, awful purchases. Anything they bought at Nationals is probably way down, including Star Jordans, including anything involved, anything with Trey Lance in his name is gone too down. Because the, it's clear to me that the 49ers, even though they traded many draft picks to move up to pick Trey Lance, they found their Tom Brady. I think it's clear to everybody. Now, could Brock Purdy like get injured and you know something happened to him? I guess, but I mean, you're paying him like nothing, <laughs> you know? I mean, he's, just, he's, just, he's Mr. Irrelevant. So my warning to you is do not listen to these influencers. They can't predict the future. Injury is a factor, you know, a lot of team build, like, you know, who not even the, in the your player got injured. Maybe uh, a wide receiver, maybe your defense, the Patriots, uh, not the Patriots, the Bucks were beat up this year. The O-line could get injured. None of those players in O-line would you invest in, but suddenly, you know, like Tom Brady, your O-line's decimated and your, your QB is no longer as valuable as it used to be. Your chance of winning has gone down to zero. My point is very simple. This isn't like wealth investment when somebody tells you, hey, let's buy a mutual fund, let's put buy this stock and this is blue chip and that blue chip, let's kind of make a fund. No, there's no licensing, there's no regulations, there's no like, I mean, you know, people are upset about this idea of pump and dump. Pump and dump is not illegal here. Pump and dump is not only a valid response, it is the only response many times. You have to understand pump and dump is illegal in securities, it is illegal in stocks. It is not illegal in cards, okay? Cards are not securities. Maybe when you do the fractional ownership, I don't know about that. that that seems kind of weird. Maybe at that point, you're, you become scary to use. But no one can predict the future, right? Justin Herbert, remember, okay, so Trey Lance probably won, Justin Herbert probably two, in terms of the most popular players at the Nationals, for football players at least. Justin Herbert's a bum. Like he's a certified, he's in the game and win a game, a playoff game. And you're gonna bet the future on that. On, you know, like, I mean, again, it's one of these things that you have all these players and only one person can win the Super Bowl. Everyone else should theoretically lose value. The same with the NBA. The NBA, I can't even watch it anymore. It's so boring. You know, it, it, these teams are just blowing each other out and it's not fun after why. I mean, there's not any really close games. And LeBron's not doing well, so he has a lot of star power. I watch LeBron. I like to follow LeBron James but he's not doing so well and it, it's kind of sad, honestly. Um, my takeaway is don't, you know, keeping up with the Joneses, right? Is, you know, hey, this guy's buying a Trey Lance card. Uh, me buy a Trey Lance card. I mean, I remember a Trey Lance card being on eBay for 200,000. Now the guy wants 100,000 and he's offered me 50,000 for it or uh, maybe less. There was actually multiple Trey Lance cards before the start of the season over 100K. Nobody wants it. I mean, the future is not certain. Maybe he does become a great QB, but the probability has definitely declined. And the one team that would maybe be the perfect fit for him may have already found Brock Purdy, right? Mr. Irrelevant. And he's got a lot of fight in him. I mean, we'll see how it, but only one of them. So if you're investing in Brock Purdy, which it's going to the moon right now, you're not investing, you cannot invest in both because you're gonna lose money. One of them is theoretically going to go down to zero or very close to it. My warning to you is don't listen to these influencers. They have no idea what the hell they're talking about. They're not financial experts, they're not certified. They're giving financial advice, don't get me wrong. They are absolutely giving financial advice. They're telling you what player to buy, when to buy the player, how much you should pay for it, the top card going up, the top card going down, the top card going sideways, whatever it is, that is financial advice. Just like Jim Cramer says, okay, buy Apple stock. 
That is financial advice. If somebody is telling you at this particular moment to buy or sell, how could that not be determined? That cannot be financial advice. And you're telling them to buy and sell based on trying to make money, right? So I learned a very devastating lesson. Uh, did it ruin my life? No. But did it cost me money? Yes, it cost me a significant chunk of money. Uh, luckily, I invested in a guy called Trevor Lawrence. I believed in Trevor. If you watch my old videos, you know I believed in Trevor. And there are times, you know, like against, you know, down 27 0, where at four interceptions, I'm like, oh God. But he pulled it out, and now I look like a hero, and my Trevor cards are doing fine. Uh, now, even if he gets blown out in his next game, I think we'll be fine because that's Patrick Mahomes. That's, you know, there's nothing to be ashamed about. I mean, as long as we don't throw eight interceptions, I think we'll be okay with, you know, even a blowout, we'll still be like, oh, we'll try again next year. Uh, and then that will give me time to sell my uh, Trevor Lawrence card. So you win some, you lose some. But the reason I bought Trevor Lawrence was I had a lot of inventory from that year. So I just opened it all. So I didn't even buy the single cards. I just accumulated a lot from opening the product. <laughs> so it wasn't like some type of genius. And out of all the rookie QBs, Matt Jones, Trey Lance. Uh, Trey Lance I got the least amount of, by the way. I just got a just a ton of... Just, I got a lot of Zach, Zach Wilson actually I got the most, which is unfortunate. But I have a lot of Trevor Autos and stuff cause just from opening products from that year. I saw this year was pretty good, um, that there's a lot of QBs, which you know QBs have a lot of value compared to other things, uh, other type of players, skill players. And I just thought, hey, let's just open some packs and it'll be a lot of fun. And if you open packs from that year, obviously you're chasing Trevor, and I've been very lucky to hit some Trevor cards. Some um, I don't I wouldn't call them big Trevor cards, but they're just lots of them, and there's some autos and so on because I just bought so much. Anyway, let me know if you guys are over leveraged. If you guys trusted a sports card influencer and you bought that Trey Lance or you bought that Justin Herbert, you know who I'm talking about. You don't need to look too far in their blogs. Um, do you think, uh, you know, that Justin Herbert that sold for a million looks like an idiot bought it. Um, he's, he's not that guy. He's not that guy. Bye, guys.